in heaven but thee. And earth has nothing I desire but thee. My flesh and my heart may fail, however, the Lord is my portion forever. Comfort the saint, woos the sinner into seeing the cost of the cross, and suffers not the little ones to come unto him. It is you, Lord, who has won us grace instead of punishment, your face instead of abandonment, a place instead of being driven from your presence, adopted into your very essence, unfathomable justification freedom from condemnation, and open access into heaven, the hope of your promise. Your spirit, our guideship, your word, the light to our feet, and your grace, your grace, so power, so sweet. It is you, O oh Lord, who has given us your forgiveness, an invitation into salvation, our very own atonement from heaven, it's you, Lord. Who has shown us a love like no other? From enemies to brothers, from separated to being fully yielded together. A condemnless generation with redemption that cannot be revoked by anything or anyone else adorned in your glory, enrobed in your holiness, clothed in your acceptance, your peace we have drank and your wrath you've rejected, your fellowship to continue through our earthly existence, your patience as we walk from earth into heaven and your love, your love so powerful choosing us whilst we were yet sinners, building bridges from alive to the world to being alive and living in Christ's existence. And he that has giveth is the very one that sustaineth. And he that is risen is the very one that intercedeth. And he that's victorious is the only banner that we are raising. For he that is risen is alive and he is calling all to his glorious salvation. Who, O oh Lord, have we in heaven but thee? Your earth has nothing that can save us but thee. Our works and our flesh will fail us, however, your finished work will be our portion forever. <laughs> 